Have you ever stopped to think about what makes us who we are? Not just in terms of our personality or preferences, but in the very fabric of our being, our DNA. When we talk about the people of India, we're not just talking about a single identity. We're talking about a vast mosaic of cultures, histories, and yes, genetics. It's like a grand tapestry woven over thousands of years, each thread telling a story of migration, intermixing, and transformation. Let's dive into this fascinating narrative. Picture the Indian subcontinent. It's not just a geographical location. It's a melting pot of human experience. The genetic makeup of Indians is a complex blend shaped by waves of people who have come and gone, leaving behind pieces of themselves in the form of genes. Scientists often categorize these populations into two main ancestral groups, Ancestral North Indians, or ANI, and Ancestral South Indians, or ASI. Now, what's intriguing is that the ANI are genetically closer to groups from the Middle East, Central Asia, and even Europe. You can trace their roots back to the speakers of Indo-European languages. Think about that for a moment. It's like a historical breadcrumb trail leading us back to ancient migrations that shaped not just our genes, but also our languages and cultures. On the flip side, we have the ASI, who are more closely related to the indigenous groups of the Indian subcontinent, associated with Dravidian languages. This means that the diversity we see in India today is not just skin deep. It runs through our very cells. And let's not forget about the indigenous tribes and hunter-gatherers. They contribute unique genetic signatures, with some groups from the Andaman Islands showing strong ties to early human migrations out of Africa. Isn't it mind-blowing to think that some of our ancestors may have walked the earth tens of thousands of years ago, their journeys echoing through our DNA? As we move through history, we encounter even more layers of genetic influence. The steppe pastoralists, often linked to the Indo-Aryan movement around 2000 BCE, brought with them not just new cultural practices, but also linguistic changes that further enriched the Indian landscape. Then there are the East Asian and Tibeto-Burman influences, found in the northeastern regions and the Himalayas. These migrations remind us that India has always been a crossroads of cultures, a place where the East meets the West, where ancient traditions blend into new narratives. And let's not overlook the impact of European, Arab, and Persian influences that have trickled in through trade, invasions, and cultural exchanges over the millennia. Each wave of migration added a new layer to our collective identity. This is why, when you look at modern India, you can't pin it down to a singular identity. It's a beautiful amalgamation of countless stories, experiences, and histories. This brings us to a critical point. In recent times, we've seen narratives that try to simplify Indian identity, often portraying it as monolithic or purely indigenous. Groups like the RSS promote a vision of India that ignores this rich history of diversity and interconnection. But let's be clear. The genetic and archaeological evidence tells a different story. It's a story of dynamic interactions, of people coming together, sharing, and evolving over time. The truth is, no single group can claim exclusive ownership over India's identity, culture, or history. Our genetic makeup challenges exclusionary ideologies, emphasizing that we are all part of a larger narrative. It's a reminder that India's strength lies in its pluralism in its ability to embrace diversity rather than shy away from it. So, the next time you hear someone claiming that their identity is the true Indian identity, remember this. Our history is not about exclusivity or supremacy. It's about unity in diversity. It's about recognizing that we are all interconnected, woven together through centuries of shared experiences. Let's celebrate this complexity. Let's embrace the idea that our differences make us stronger, that our diverse backgrounds enrich our culture, and that together we form the vibrant tapestry that is India. So, whether you identify with the ANI, the ASI, or any of the myriad groups that contribute to our collective identity, remember that you are part of a grand story that has been unfolding for millennia. 
And that, my friends, is something to be proud of.